Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful kings and queens and rulers of the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And today, it's an 84 degree day. It's hot and sunny. And we're gonna be doing a walking tour from the North Square neighborhood, which is bounded by Old Kensington and West Kensington. And we're going to be entering the East Kensington neighborhood not to be confused with the notorious North Kensington neighborhood by Kensington and Allegheny. The area I'm gonna take you guys to today is being heavily gentrified. It has been gentrified and being worked on for the past 10 to 15 years. So you guys are gonna see a lot of development. Right now we're on American Street. As you can see, there is greenery in the middle of the street, which was not always in the center of American Street. American Street was known as an industrial uh, zone where a lot of factories, warehouses were located at. Right there where we started off the tour, there's the Neon Museum of Lights. There's a lot of historic lights and things that hold significant value to the history of like Philadelphia's commercial business. As you can see, we have dog walkers, we have e-scooter operators, we have joggers, we have cyclists all cycling through here, walking, you know, hanging out, enjoying the sun. We're gonna be taking this little shortcut if possible. I don't know if they still got this open. Should be open. But right here on my left-hand side, you're going to see a whole bunch of buildings. These weren't there before. There was actually a little warehouse right here. They just bought it out. They knocked it down recently. They knocked it down within the last, I would say, maybe three weeks, right here. I actually shot footage here. I did a whole video in 2018 on my channel, um, walking from American and I believe like Master, right before Gerard, all the way down to American and Indiana, which is the rougher area of American Street. Well, you'll see the difference as far as the railroad tracks go. There was like train tracks right in the middle of American Street. And you'll see the building I'm talking about. There was a building right here. If you're from the area, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. This block right here was abandoned. It was a little quiet block with no signs of life now. It looks like there's about to be plenty of signs of life coming soon. We're gonna walk over this little sidewalk area they have right here. As you can see, these houses, they boast red brick, gray brick, different shades of red. Nice masonry, brick pointing. As you can see, they appear to be four stories. Four story buildings, which appear to be apartments. Look at apartments, because you can see they got the little doorbells and they have the different mailboxes that I believe go to different apartments so that goes to show you they ended up multiplying their income because i'm sure that's the thing they're trying to do most in this little area is build tall and try to make the most profit off of every square foot land that they purchase for example right there on my right hand side that large building that you see right there that was not there that was just made that's a storage unit one of the cube smart storage units climate control that wasn't there and they just made that within the last, I would say, two years. Check out that mural, beautiful mural for all you mural enthusiasts. Name that bird, what kind of bird is that? All right, so right now we are on the borderline of North Square, the North Square neighborhood and the Old Kensington neighborhood. On my right hand side, you got Pasha's a la food market. We're on second and Cecil B. Moore. This building right here, they literally just made to. There was an old like warehouse that was there that they started to sell like, um, you know, an antiques and used items. That's what they tried to start selling there, but then I guess they got bought out and then they made a gigantic new establishment, which is probably gonna be apartments, offices, office space living space, things like that. And same thing with that building over there. You see that big, uh, like a like a tannish white brick building with the powder baby blue front end? 
that building was just made too in that lot there was a little garage there it was an auto body shop i guess the auto body shop sold out but i literally just saw the whole team of hards hat men and women um like a few days ago out front i guess they were having like a group meeting like a committee meeting i guess you know discussing the plans and they were all cheering and everything as you can see we had a young woman cycling by in her spandex pants with her airpods on her ears enjoying the sun it is kind of hot out i'm gonna warn y'all tune doesn't like the heat <laughs> i'll probably start perspiring soon i started out the tour a little sticky but we're passing Palethorpe Street. On my left-hand side, we got Keystone Mini Golf and Arcade. Again, this was like once a warehouse that wasn't in use, but within the last, I think they refurbished this and rehabilitated it. Like, I would say like eight to 10 years ago. As you can see, there's a little Mediterranean food, a uh, little hookah lounge and all of that right here, and a restaurant, and there's also I believe a wine distributor or a wine manufacturer right here. Check it out. See? It's called Home of Stateside Urban Craft Vodka. All right, so it wasn't wine, it was vodka. They had another jogger going by us right there. We're on Hancock and Cecil B. Moore. Show you guys a little bit of this street art mixed with graffiti. This is a whole combination of artwork here. whole combination of artwork there was a horse stable behind us i was kind of at a cross of like you know showing you guys the artwork and then showing you guys the horse stable it's kind of tough <laughs> which do i pick which do i pick but i went with the artwork because it's bright and colorful so right now we are in the north square community this is the north square neighborhood if you go one block behind me if we would have crossed the right on Cecil B. Moore, we would have been in the old Kensington neighborhood. O-L-D-E. Old Kensington neighborhood. That's how they spell it on the map. Not your traditional old O-L-D. These houses right here selling. Last I checked 10 years ago, this one was like 500, 600,000. These were made 500,000 each. So that's just to give you an idea. We're just going to cut through here. A little two-story residential block i showed you guys those horse stables before in previous tours so if you've never seen the horse stable you can take a look at my cecil b more driving tour and you might even see it in the norris square driving tour also i've been documenting this area for quite some time the two-story residential block We're on Palmer Street the 100 block of Palmer Street we got Goosh Market right there and as you can see there's new houses right there there's a new building there's another new building right there so we're gonna continue traveling to our original route because what I want to do is before we enter East Kensington. East Kensington is also bordered by Fishtown. Yeah, it's bordered by Fishtown and Old Richmond. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick little walkthrough of where there was recently just an incident on the news where a male in a U-Haul vehicle drove by one of these outdoor eating establishments where they have the outdoor dining. And while there was a female that was out there, he grabbed her purse and started driving. Somebody in a motorcycle sh tried stopping him. He got hit off the motorcycle. I think they ran over the motorcycle. The dude hit the whole outdoor eating establishment. I don't think people got too hurt, but all this was on the news probably a couple days ago. And it's right up the block, right around the corner. So we just came from right there. That's where the horse stable and all that was at. These are all little um, old factories that they ended up repurposing to studios thank you very much ma'am so i'm gonna keep on go what's up buddy i'm gonna keep on going straight yeah the crossing guard helped me i didn't think that she was gonna help me <laughs> she closed off traffic for me so i figured that was um pretty neat 
You got some children out here with their parents. This is a elementary school. They're out here hanging out, enjoying the sun. Yeah, I didn't really expect the crossing guard to assist me with crossing, but she literally stopped traffic for me and said, go ahead. So I'm like, all right, I didn't want her, all her efforts to go in vain. So thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Gee golly, have a wonderful day. <laughs> You're doing a spectacular job out here. You deserve a raise. Hashtag raise. <laughs> Look at the artwork on the school. So check this out. A lot of Philadelphia elementary schools did not have this artwork. At least when I went to public school here, many of these schools were just regular um, color, like whatever material they were made in. So if they were brick, if they were stone, if they were whatever they were, that was the original color. Somewhere along the line, I would say probably anywhere from 15 to 10 years ago, 10, 15, yeah, give or take roughly. Years ago, they started painting a lot of murals on the schools, which I guess it like makes the school look a lot better. You know, that's the bright side. It looks nice. Right now, we are in the old Kensington neighborhood, um, which again, has had heavy, heavy uh, rehabilitation done over the last decade or two. We're on Oxford, Hancock and Oxford. Um, I'm gonna make, can I make a left? Yeah, let me make a left hand turn here. Cause I wanna show you guys where that little U-Haul truck hit the little outdoor dining spot that's right around the corner. This is around the side from the school, so I don't wanna overwalk it. There's a the little gardens out here for the students and the kids, you know, that go to the school. The teachers, I guess, you know, depending on the grade, they do little outdoor projects with them. All these buildings right here are new. These are all new. These, I would say they're like seven to 10 years old, I would say. Seven to 10 years old, but as you can see, the whole block is pretty modern. It's a modern block. They have back garages. I'm sure they got all the luxuries and amenities that you would want in a row home, such as roof deck, um, central air, smart appliances, things of that nature. The main thing that I would want in a row home is central air. <laughs> That I mentioned central air because in this heat, shh, nobody won't be outside sticky sweating. At least I don't. And what does it look like I'm doing right now? I'm outside and I'm sticky sweating. Yeah, when you start walking, you start to perspire and then you get sticky. So, this is John Moffitt Public School. All right, that little outdoor dining spot was right here. A little garage right here with an older gentleman. Look like they're doing some welding. <laughs> Look like they're customizing some type of fabrication for that van. All right, we're gonna make this right on the 100 block of Turner Street. And this is the block where the outdoor dining uh, crash course uh, took place at. <laughs> it's not funny, but. And the funny thing is, is, that day that that happened, we literally were driving by and we saw the police out here, but I didn't know what was the case. Well, you see on my left-hand side, we're passing the 1600 block of Hope Street. I guess there was no hope that day when that happened because this is where it happened at. See all the little yellow booths on my left? I guess there was a, this is usually popping. There's a lot of people who come out here and eat nowadays. A lot of the young crowd, the hipster crowd comes and eat here. So yeah. This is where it happened at. They ended up hitting the booths and they parked a little golf cart there. On the 1600 block of Front Street. We got 1700 block of Front Street to my left, 1600 block of Front Street to my right. This little outdoor, um, what's this, like a bar. Uh, we're on Cecil B. Moore, which is also known as Columbia Ave. You got a nice, beautiful set of murals over there. Got another abstract looking death of field mural there. This large lot across the street with all the tables, we might as well go down here because we got to head towards West Kensington. I mean, East Kensington anyway. West Kensington is to my left. Right after North Square neighborhood is West Kensington. They're right side by side next to each other. It's funny because you would think this would be Old Kensington. No, it's North Square. They just skipped the neighborhood and they put Old Kensington behind us, one block behind us. 
So these little tables right here, these picnic tables, they'd be pretty packed with people eating, outdoor dining. This all just recently became like the new it spot for people to hang out at because it was never like this. This was all like um, used car dealership back in the day. This was a used car dealership right here too. And now guess what they do out here on this spot on my left? They do like Zumba classes, they do stretching, they do cardio, they do aer aerobics, like fitness, right? As you can see, or I don't know if you guys can see, but under that tent, over there next to those pods, under that tent, there's a um, fitness training, what's that called? Fitness training gear, fitness training, exercise equipment, there you go. That's the word I was looking for. There's a lot of exercise equipment out there. So now if you come out here like on a good day, you'll see people doing exercise, people working out, people um, in large groups too. When at one point of time, there was nothing but used cars here. Yep, nothing but used cars. But now you come by, you, you, you'll hear music, you'll see a bunch of uh, people who are inspired <laughs> to lose weight and stay fit. They'll be out there. I swear that car over there, that classic car was here quite some time. Maybe they sold it to them with a lot, I don't know. Maybe my memory's a little rusty, but I do remember the previous owner who owned a used car dealership used to have a classic car that looked like that here. I'm sure he had a couple, but I don't know if that was like the deal. Like, look, you bought a lot and I'll give you the classic. Or he was like, look, it, I bought a lot, but you got to leave that classic in it. He was like, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, front end Palmer. We're going to go over another block or so because on my right hand side, we have the Fishtown neighborhood. That's the Fishtown neighborhood. That's Newman Hospital. That was once on fire before in the early 2000s. This is the Market Frankfurt line. This train overpass that we're under. That's the Market Frankfurt line. I'm gonna stay quiet. The blue line, aka the Market Frankfurt line. That's how you get from Northeast Philly to West Philly. This is Kensington High School. We're about one block away from West Kensington and East Kensington. So, just giving you guys a heads up. We'll be making a right soon. We're passing Front and Montgomery Ave. We're crossing over Montgomery Ave. We're entering the 1800 block of Front Street. On my right hand side, we have Kensington uh, High School for Performing Arts, Creative and Performing Arts. They just made that, I would say, within the last like 10 to 15 years. Yeah, they literally just made that school. I know it's not just literally, but in my lifetime, yeah, that was recent because there's another one. The other Kensington's on, what's that? York or Huntingdon? No, I think it's York. Yeah, it's on York. Right by Frankfurt. There's the other Kensington and then there's the Annex building too. Those are new. Those were recently made. Active Mom Fitness. Look, there's another fitness building right there and a Metropolitan Group. We got Tander, Canvas City Church. It's an outdoor eating establishment. Then we got a little skate shop right here, art supply and skate shop. It says that they moved. Check it out. They moved to Amber Street. Zembo moved. We're at the Burks train stop. This is the Norris Square community. Once you hit Dolphin, I'm sorry, I didn't feel like screaming over the train. Once you hit Dolphin, West Kensington is on my left. But when we come over here, 
to Diamond Street on my right will be East Kensington. It is 3.45. We got these Indigo bikes. What's up, sir? Could you tell me which way, because uh, I'm coming from a certain way, I would walk past people that were shooting dope and stuff. Is it this way or that way? Shooting what? They were shooting dope and all kinds of crazy stuff. What do you mean, like substance abuse? Yeah, yeah, they were doing that. I was walking past them. Do you know, are they that way or are they that way? To my knowledge, you might be talking about Kensington and Allegheny, oh, which yeah, is... That way. Yeah, a mile or two Not up that way. way. No, sir. No problem. What you out, making movies? Just making a YouTube, you know. Making some money. Yes, sir. Trying, trying. Thank you, sir. All right. That was a strange request. That was probably one of the most strangest requests I have ever gotten in my entire span of walking on camera. <laughs> what do y'all think? Do y'all think that was a strange request or not? All right, on my right hand side, we got Liberty Choice Food Market. An organic, all natural, gluten free, non dairy uh, supermarket that you can go to. Awesome dog, awesome dog, awesome dog, sir. This is a little ice cream parlor that we just passed. It's called Middle Eastern Sweets. We got the little outdoor eating establishment right here. See, they're eating some ice cream. All right, now we're hitting Norris, front of Norris. We got Diaz flat fix on my left hand side. And now we're in the East Kensington neighborhood. This used to be a fine fair to my knowledge, a fine fair supermarket many, many, many years ago. What it was before fine fair, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be able to tell you. But if any veteran viewers know what this was, let me know. So back to that question he asked, what do you guys think? That was probably one of the strangest questions I've been asked on camera. He asked, do you know where he said i passed a bunch of people shooting dope do you know if they were this way or that way i was confused I, like i had to like have him ask me the question again to make sure that i was hearing what i was hearing there's a skate shop right here look at our supply i guess this is where that skate shop moved to yup zimbo so if you guys are into art supplies and skate shopping and stuff you have burning spirits muay thai boxing yeah, that was the strangest request I've ever had on camera. And I had a camera out and everything, and he knew what I was doing. And I said, come again, sir. And he said, do you know where everyone is shooting dope at? I said, I think you got to go that way. You're about two, maybe three miles, maybe, maybe a mile and a half, two miles from where we're at right now. That's that notorious Kensington I was telling you guys about. Let me find out that we're just getting people from all walks of life who just want to take a stroll through Kensington. He's close. Right now we're in East Kensington. If we go three blocks to my left, that's West Kensington. If we keep going in front of me about five, 10 minutes, that is, dun, 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 North Kensington. That was so strange. Oh, look at this little dry erase menu board. That's kind of nice. I like to repurpose things. So if I would have had a vehicle, I would have probably took that and used it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are in East Kensington. East Kensington is, uh, you know, it's East Kensington. <laughs> it's not like North Kensington. Yeah, there are some old buildings, but you're gonna see a lot of these new bohemoths. A lot of these new bohemoths built everywhere. There's a lot of people moving in here. This is a salt after neighborhood. Look at that whole little block is new. All those houses in the little block is new. Look it, we got this in East Kensington now. That's how you know East Kensington is not the same Kensington it once was. 
We got a free little library box out here. I thought I would never see one of these in my hood, but guess what? There you go. It's one of these in my hood. <laughs> Check it out. Brand new buildings, guys. And you notice how a lot of them are like different style, right? This one's original. You can tell this was an original building. But all the other ones next to it, they don't got a roof deck and everything. They're new. This one's old, the two story next to it. But then look at this big, gigantic one that towers over it. And it's for sale. Saving thousands on a better experience. That's the little slogan right here. So that goes to show you guys. So people are moving into this neighborhood, spending anywhere from 300, 400, 500, 600,000, 700,000. Look at new homes everywhere. Wherever you see those modernized homes, you see this neighborhood traditionally had these style row homes. Those two stories, and you see that one three story that's next to the two story? That's how this whole entire neighborhood looked at one point or another. But you see right next to that three story, that one with all those strips going down, that's the new stylization of homes that they're putting everywhere. That's those new, look at over here. This one looks like it could have been rehabilitated with the vinyl siding. It's ugly though. How do you go put a few sheets of black vinyl siding and then some tan siding? I don't know. I'm artsy, I'm artistic, but you know, you gotta use art with moderation. <laughs> That's a horrible saying. You got to use more art with moderation. Well, then again, look at this one. This one's been done for probably like 10 years already. And it's a it's a quirky looking home with all the polka dots. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You think I'm playing? Look how quirky looking this, this building is. Look at it. Look at it. You see how I got the polka dots? This building literally got polka dots. Yo, I live on a house with the blue polka dots. You can find me. <laughs> Yeah, look at it. At least they got trees. They got shade. It's so cool. Mm, so many flies. I gotta keep my mouth shut. Sorry, guys. I have to keep my mouth shut because flies are going to enter my mouth like a landing pad. Look at this little house hidden back here. So it's a row home. But it got a nice little walkway. A nice little front I wouldn't say grassy area, it's more like mulch. But, and then look at, they add these little weird panel style buildings. Look at, look how poorly that panel's already peeling. Look at this. Look at this, and they probably sold them this house for 400,000, 500,000, if not more. Those are all right. Those are brick with garages. They're lucky to have their own garages. I actually like those garages and I like the style of the building. And it's a nice tall building. Look at this orange door right here. Congratulations, the award winning real estate rock star who lives here. What? You guys aren't going to believe me. Let me go read that sign for y'all. Go ahead. You guys are more than welcome to go. You're like super duper fast. No, look at the dog in the window. What's up, doggy? Yo, read that sign. It says, congratulations. The award-winning rock star who lives here. Who is it? Does Errol Smith live there? Does Elvis Presley live there? <laughs> look at these houses, though, yo. These houses are crazy. Like, the, from the mind of a 13-year-old to the drawing board of an architect. Yo, look at this chair. This chair is kind of... Look at me trying to repurpose stuff. That's a repurposable chair. You can definitely utilize that chair for some reason or another. And then you got these little two-story original ones that are tucked away. You see? I like the, the fence. The fence is pretty interesting. Yo, her smart car sounded loud as ever. I could have swore smart cars were electric. How in the world does hers sound like it got a muffler on it? Because, you know, Teslas don't have mufflers because they're electric. Unless smart cars are partially electric and partially gas, right? Look, this whole block's new. Look at my left. New. Boom. New. Boom. New. Boom. 
On my right, we got some original homes. Look, we even got a little Triumph motorcycle right here for all you motorcycle guys and gals. Yeah, check it out. These are all original. The ones on that side, all original. I remember when they started building these a couple years ago. They literally just started building these, I would say, several years ago. And now they're done. And they build them in periods. They build like one first, then they build the other, two or three. That's why sometimes the styles change. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a few styles. And this whole block over here, they built new. Now, right there on the corner is the Rocky Gym. That's where they shot the Rocky movie on part one. That's one of the main locations, but we're just gonna make this right so we can continue proceeding through East Kensington. See those houses? They got lots in between them. It's only a matter of time. Boom, I was about to say, it's only a matter of time before those lots get bought. Now look it, they already bought the lot next to it. Look it. They already bought the lot next to it. And now we can look at the permit. There's a building permit. The permit usually says when the date of construction is gonna start and what's the estimated cost of the building they're gonna put here. Permit fee, 75 bucks. Um, does it have an estimated cost? I can't see it, I can't see it, I can't see it, I can't see it. It does not say it, does it say it, does it say it? 120,000 right there, boom. That's it guys, there you go. So that means that whatever they're gonna put here, you see it, whatever they're gonna put here is gonna cost them roughly $120,000 of raw material and labor to complete. And then they'll probably double their money, sell it for three, four, five hundred thousand. Same thing with this lot. This lot doesn't look like it's been bought off yet. But that's why a lot of these houses have different decor, because they were built at different times by different uh, contractors and designers at different periods. So some of the houses were built in 2003, some of them were built in 2007, some were built in 2013, some were built in, in, in 2015. Look at this one. See those two big ones right over there? Or the three of them? And then you cross the street over here and look at this style. Look at this one. This one got wood, guys. This is a wooden facade or facade. You see? Some were built in 2018, 2020. Some were just built this past year. Look at the style. That's actually wood panels, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Uh, they got a ring doorbell. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys can feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tune215. Capturing all of Philadelphia's neighborhoods. Ring, 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 ring. I'm out here. Your home is now on Candy Cam, or on Tune Cam, as I should say. <laughs> I just gave them the plug. Yeah, I'm a lifelong resident of this neighborhood, buddy. Welcome to the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at this. They got a, a cease working order, obtain proper permit. So they don't have the proper permits. They got, well, fined up to $2,000 and or 90 days of, what? And or 90 days per violation, imprisonment. Oh, wow. So you'll get locked up if you don't get the, pro the, the proper fines. I mean, the proper fines, the proper permits. It looked like they tried working on it, but Look at this, you see right down there on the corner of the block, you're gonna see all the green, the green she thing. You see that green she thing? That's a new establishment too, it's a new building. They're, they're building everywhere. They're building everywhere, guys, everywhere. The smaller the block, the bigger the block, it doesn't matter, they're, they're building. And people are more than happy to live in this neighborhood, despite what's happening around the corner, five, 10 minutes away on Kensington and Somerset and, 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 and Kensington and Allegheny. You know what I mean? Look at these on Fletcher and Coral Street. I literally just did a tour on the 2600 block of Fletcher um, in Strawberry Mansion on like 26 and Fletcher because of the Concrete Cowboys movie. Yeah, I literally just did a tour down there neighborhood showing the Fletcher Cowboys uh, stable or what's left of it now and the whole little neighborhood there. It's on my page. Yeah, that movie came out on HBO. But we're on the east side of Fletcher. Oh, look at that cat, beautiful cat. What's up? What's up, kitty? Meow, meow. You're on YouTube, kitty. Meow, meow. 
Yeah, that cat looked decent. That cat had super long uh, whiskers and long beard. It had a longer beard than I did, <laughs> or than I do. That's pretty cool. Look at that building right there. See, I got all of the leaves growing on the side of it. You see that? It looks nice, but then it's also destructive to the building. Look at there, it actually got a violation or it got a unsafe structure notice of violation warning, you see? I told you, those, those, those vines look nice, but they're not healthy for the vehicle. I said the vehicle for the building. Why in the world was I thinking of a vehicle? Maybe that's because I was dodging the vehicle at the same time. So my mind like played dyslexic. I knew I was dodging a vehicle, but I was talking about a house. Now, this one's a little bit more original. It's been here for quite some time, but it looked like they did some poor sh shabby work right there with the cinder block trying to patch it up. And then they used uh, the stucco. Didn't do such a good job with the stucco either. Tell you, my pop told me this when we was um, younger. When I was younger, he was younger. He used to tell me that all this was gonna happen before it happened. And little did I know, it happened. It happened. That boy must have entered a time um, travel machine and teleported back from the future. <laughs> he was hanging with Marty, Marty McFly. Yeah but it all happened on Amber and Dolphin Street. Look at these flowers. Awesome flowers, right? Dolphin and Amber. Look at this building right here. They even got a roof deck. You guys see the roof deck? And the reason why people like this neighborhood is because it's close to Center City, Philadelphia. And this is about eight minutes away from the Rivers Casino, AKA the Sugar House Casino on Delaware Ave. It's several minutes away from Penn Treaty Park. It's 10, 15 minutes away from Center City, Philadelphia. It's two minutes away from the Market Frankfurt Blue Line train station right here, which will take you to West Philly, take you to Northeast Philly. There's buses nearby. There's plenty of opportunities to travel. Look at this building right here. This building right here is pretty neat. Look at this one. Look at this. Now that's a spectacular little row home style of a building. And then you see how I got all the greenery right here? Look at the roof deck. I, the thing I like most about this is I would say the brickwork. The brickwork. And the door isn't even in the front. Look at the door's not right there. The door's in the back. Now, to be honest, it looks like this greenery goes to this house. That's what it looks like. That greenery goes to that house. It looks like this one doesn't have its own greenery on the side. It looks like it's probably on, like, the back. It might have its own greenery in the back. But still looks pretty neat. All right, right up the block, I believe there's the Rusty House. I'm going to show you guys the Rusty House. There's been a group of young people, I'm assuming, because I can't imagine any senior citizens, you know, incorporating rust in the style of their house. But, oh, uh, and there's the little toilets over here. I think there's toilets over here that they repurposed as flower pots. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you. I'm across right here. We're on Dolphin, Coron Dolphin. Yep, told you. They repurposed uh, toilets and they made them flower pots. Yeah, so let me continue walking down here. Just wanted to let the guy with the bicycle go by. He ended up turning. We're on Dolphin and Coral Street. The sun is beaming. The sun is beating my face up. It might be a wise decision this summer not to wear the do-rag while I'm doing these tours because I'm going to have a extremely dark tan on my face. 
Then I'm gonna take off the do-rag and my forehead's gonna be pale. It's gonna be a line going right through my forehead. <sighs> As you can see, more homes, more homes. What's the ambience like out here in the summer? There's not much drama in this neighborhood. Um, I'm sure back in the 80s and the 70s, it was probably a little bit tougher, maybe early 90s. But as of the 2000s to now, to 2021, it's a quiet neighborhood, working class, uh, young people, you know, traveling to and from work, to and from school, to and from the gym, to and from the clubs, the bars, the cafes, the outdoor eating establishments. And if you do see anybody sitting outside, they're calm, peaceful. This isn't a neighborhood that I drive through that's known for playing music or groups of people hanging out. None of that really exists here. Yeah, it probably did once in its time or another, but nowadays it's not like that anymore. We're gonna make this right on Emerald Street or on Dolphin. See, there's another mural right there. There's an abandoned building right here. Probably won't be abandoned for long if it isn't already owned. Sometimes the building might look abandoned and then you don't know that the owner is applying for a building permit, but that takes a year to two, sometimes three years. Also, depending on budgets, loans, finance years, you know, the funders and all of that. You know, money makes things go around. So <laughs> if you have money, you could probably get the job, you know, started and done within three to six months. But... You know, you got, you got to have the correct organization skills. You got to be prepared. Look at that. New houses over there. You see the colorful ones? The red, the black, the different color. Again, you're going to see that throw all these little blocks. Look at those. So these two right here look like they've been there for quite some time. You could tell they've been rehabilitated. Pressure wash, painted, all the accents done. The crown is, is painted fresh. These two next to it are new. And then this one's new. While wow, this one's old and original. You see? See that style of stone? But then right next to this, look it. It's a new building. So they were probably made within the last decade. I would say the last decade or so. Now this is that rusted building that I was telling you about. Look at this is an actual rusted building, guys. Look at this. It's rusted. You don't believe me? You want me to go up close? This is a rusted building. I mean, it doesn't look that bad if you're into the rat rod style. Check it out. That's actually rust, guys. Look at. They got nice little planters. It looks like they care about their home. They probably, you know, what they, what some people call hippies or hipsters. It's probably that that, that younger crowd that, that lives there because you yeah, had to spend so much money for a house and then to, to wrap it in rusty material. And the more it rains, the more it rusts. See? The more it rains, the more it's gonna rust. Right, let's go this way. Kensington High School is all over there, but I want to show you guys these new buildings that they're making right here. Look at there's a couple more right here. See, this is an old one. Like I said, you guys can tell which ones are the old ones. The old ones got those traditional window layouts. Brick, even though they're painted or not, they look normal. You see how these windows are all over the place? Look at they even built two houses, same color, same style, one taller than the other. It looks like Legos, like like steps going up higher. And then they bam, it goes back down to being low again. Look at this person decided to use some of that rust inspiration and they made their fence decor rusty. Again, that right there, that's all new. And this lot right here, look at, they're already digging it up. There's gonna be huge buildings here too soon. This is new, that was just a parking lot. And they ended up putting some new buildings in the parking lot. I guess they bought the space. Sometimes people have so much land, they don't need it all. And let's say you got a whole square block worth of land. Look at there's all this land right here. Say you got a whole square block worth of land 
and you don't need the whole thing. Remember, the more land you have, the more taxes you have to pay. So although land is good, you still gotta pay taxes on that land. So let's say if the owner of this lot owned the whole block, he wanted to downsize on some of his taxes while still holding on to a gold mine, just sell half of the block and keep this half and continue doing, you know, this half is owned by a comely, which is an auctioneer's spot right around the corner. But still, you know what I mean? Look at right here, a new building. They put vinyl siding on the side. Look at there's another rusted home right over there. See, that's a rusted home. That must be on the opposite side. This is a new home. And look at they already graffiti back there. They already tagged it up. A lot of these newer houses are facing that problem too. Look at this looks like it could be apartments because there's multiple meters. Usually the multiple meters signify apartments. And then look at. I don't know what's the purpose of this, if that's an emergency exit or an emergency entrance, because somebody's going to take advantage one day of that entrance. And What's up, doorbell cams? Subscribe to Tune215. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. I'm probably activating everyone's doorbell cam. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to Tune215 via YouTube. There used to be a building right there. There was buildings all throughout Front Street. Front Street is... <laughs> Not what it used to be. Look at this building right here. Those two big ones, they're, they're new. They literally just started putting them together a few months ago. And there used to be a big factory there that burned down. Burned down, I would say, 10 years ago. Maybe a little longer. Yeah. Comley auctioneers and appraisers since 1834. See, that's the parking lot. So this younger gentleman right here gets in a Porsche with his younger female and the tags read Texas. There goes the Comley Auctioneer and Appraisers building right there, 1825 East Boston Street. Maybe that 1823 wasn't established in 1823. Maybe it was address 1823. <laughs> I said established in 1823. Yeah, because I'm thinking in my head, like, whoa. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, but 1823 sounds like light years away. Look at, you see? They got these little cute two-story homes with these giant bohemians that they built right next to them. They're right there, now leasing Haggard Lofts. Brand new apartments. Call 215-391-1098. Now, mind you, right up the block, you got the the Kensington Courts, which is a new four four hundred thousand dollar homes that they made right there in Kensington, and you got uh, what's that? Kensington and Somerset, which is an opioid epicenter, and you got Kensington and Allegheny, which is another opioid epicenter. From Kensington and Somerset to Kensington, and I would say Tioga or Ontario is where it's all at. After Kensington, Ontario, through like Kensington and maybe Erie Torresdale, there used to be a lot of females for hire. They weren't the most appealing females for hire. I remember growing up seeing them out there staring at you, staring through your soul when you drive by. Still to this day, you might see a couple on Kensington and Huntingdon. You might see a couple, but eh, yeah, nothing worth, um, you know, investing in. <laughs> made any sense look at this is the foundations of a lot of these homes five years later you guys will look at this video or the people who live in this home will look in this video and see what their property or their property look like before they moved in gives you an idea yeah right now to my knowledge they say building is at its lowest if you want to build now's the time to build however they say that lumber is pretty expensive too. So that's kind of like an oxymoron. Like how can it be the cheapest time to build, but with the most expensive lumber? But yeah, so just give you an idea. All right, we're gonna go, we'll go straight left. Then we'll go straight and then right. We'll go down like Trenton. I don't know if y'all want to see the skate park. There's a skate park around the corner too. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to make it. Look at winter spraycation. You see that? 
There's some artwork. That says Haste from OAL. Yeah, a lot of nice artwork. You can take a look at. I want, I want you guys to see the line work of these characters. These characters are awesome. I can appreciate this type of art. Look at the characters' line work. Look at the hair. Look at the shades. Look at the texture. Look at the colors. Look at the depth. This is all done with spray cans, ladies and gentlemen. All done with spray cans. This isn't done with, with paint brushes. This, this is done with spray cans and different nozzles. Look at that skill. These guys are bad to the bone. Ridiculous. And then you got the sock dude up, up, up top. There's an artist in Philadelphia that does these huge socks everywhere. Look it. It's kind of like a sock puppet. Look, you see, there's a sock right there. And he puts these everywhere. There's, there's a couple spots in Philly that have these sock puppets. Pretty long, right? He must have sat there for a while, hanging off the roof and all of that. <laughs> Cause that's the only way that I could think of him getting to that from corner to corner is just hanging off of the roof. Either that, or I doubt he had a scaffold, maybe a ladder, I don't know. But during the sickness that was going around for the last year or two with the shutdown, a lot of graffiti artists were getting a chance to go back to their roots and, you know, conquer the area. Cause you know, police weren't really focused on capturing graffiti artists. So a lot of them got to go jiggy, got to get jiggy with it and crush the walls. All right, we're on Haggard. I believe this is Haggard. We could keep going to Lehigh, East Kensington, go straight up to Lehigh. It stops at Trenton and it stops at Kensington. But I figured I'm gonna cut up here so you guys can see Kensington High School for anybody who ever went to Kensington because I know Kensington High School holds some emotional value to previous attendees. We got Ergo's bar right here, Ergo's sports bar. I used to have a buddy that used to come to this block. I used to come to this block. Haggard playground across the street. Yeah, they modernized that up some. They hooked that up quite a bit. Basketball court, playground for the kids. Yeah, I forgot which house was his. Which house was his? Let me see if I can remember it. Which house was his? It was one of these on my left. It was 2071, 2069. I think it was this one coming up on my left. It looked like they probably sold it. Yep, it looked like they probably sold it. I used to come here and help them, help them clean up. <sighs> yeah, they got like a little outdoor arrangement where people can hang out. Yeah, they're like doing some type of roofing or something. Yeah. A and Z Roofing. It's a private roofing company. All right, we're right here next to Kensington High School. I'll at least show y'all Kensington High School before we cut on Trenton. Trenton is the borderline. Well, Trenton is the border, you know, right? But Trenton actually get you started off in Fishtown. Like when you go down to where it's, I would say Norris Street, Diamond and Norris, look at a bunch of new houses. On the right, there are the new ones. On the left, there's a couple old ones, but there are also a couple new ones. Yeah. Trenton is like a cobblestone road. They got like real, real bumpy cobblestones. I don't like driving on Trenton. These houses right here wasn't here. There's two houses right here in the corner. There used to be a guy who used to collect scrap inside his yard. Right here. These were two yards. This giant building right here was not here. It was a, a, a lot with a bunch of scrap metal in it. And I guess he didn't own it. So he had to take all his junk out. And they made two houses right here next to the 39 bus stop. Yep, right there. 
See that lot? Well, the little garage. These two buildings right here are new. And they used to be scrapped right here. As you can see. Boom. And this is Kensington High School. Kensington High School, remember the first building we walked by in the beginning, the Capital Performing Arts or whatever it was called? This is an ex this is the original building to that, that's the extension. It was made in 1916. Yeah. Yep. To my knowledge, I believe this was an all, what was it guys? Was it an all girls school and all boys school? I'm a little rusty on my Kensington knowledge. I ain't never go to Kensington High School. But I had a couple friends that went there. And this was always close by. I mean, actually, the school that I went to was actually farther than this one. This one should have been considered my neighborhood school. Because, you know, I was in this neighborhood. But, no. I ended up going to another one. On Luzerne, so. And this is Kensington. I believe this was an all-girls school. No, it might have been an all-boys school. I don't know. Somebody help me with, with those facts. But I do know it was an all-one-gender school at one point. That was like in the 30s, 40s, 50s, maybe. And then somewhere along its history, and you know, I guess the 70s, 80s, 90s, look at there's a jogger over there. You see a jogger? Um, it got turned to a regular school, boy and girl school. Look at Quick Mart, and God we trust. That's what it says on top of the Quick Mart. New buildings right here. All right, the skate park's right around the corner. So I can probably go up another block and then make a right for y'all. So y'all can see the skate park. Damn, that dude was kind of old. He said he got two more years of school. <laughs> dude looked like he could have been a teacher at school. Maybe he's like hiring his education, maybe getting like a master's or or a PhD or doctorate or whatever that's called. Oh wow, look at this new houses back there. They're squeezing them in everywhere, y'all. Look at this is all new. There used to be a skate shop right here. This right here was a skate shop. Because I went in there and bought uh I think two skateboards. Two brand new skate decks, I got them from right here. But look at all oh, this is new. And then right here, they got a spot called Fior, uh, what is it called? Shake Steak. They sell shakes, I guess milkshakes. And then they sell cheese steaks, sandwiches, and things like that. There's Tapia Grocery. But look at all those new buildings right there. See those new buildings? You see them. They weren't there. Same thing with this. This right here is still being worked on. If you look inside, there's still, look, there's still sheetrock on the floor. Look at the zoning notice is still there because they haven't finished. And straight ahead, we're at Amber and Huntingdon. Straight ahead at the end of this block, you see those tall buildings down there? That's the Kensington Courts. And that's the Kensington neighborhood. We're in East Kensington. That's the North Kensington. That's the neighborhood that the dude in the beginning was looking for the people shooting up. Dope. That's the neighborhood that he's probably in right now. What do you guys think he's up to right now? You guys think he's already in the neighborhood? You think he's just sightseeing? You know, he's just a connoisseur of, you know, different type of neighborhoods. <laughs> he looked relatively clean. He didn't look like beat up. He didn't look dirty. He didn't look scruffy. Oh wow, this little dog park, check it out. For all my animal lovers, you guys get to see doggies. Check it out. Oh, this is awesome. A lot of dogs. Beautiful brindle. Wow, that's a spectacular selection of dogs. Wow. That was a whole lot of dogs, right? All in one section. Look at this little teeny weeny house right here. Cute little house. At least you got a dog park next to you. Spectacular dog, buddy. Nice dog. 
I was gonna make sure that he understood what I was talking about. I had to bust a U-turn like, dog, I called you a dog spectacular and you're not gonna say thank you. <laughs> but he had ear pods in his ear. So he probably didn't hear me. Look at, we got the new houses right here. We're at Trenton. This is Pops Park on my left hand side. The basketball court. There's a little skate park right here. But we have just hit Trenton Ave. Yep. And what do you know? We have just hit our one hour mark. Yeah, guys. You guys wanted this, so I gave it to you. I put out a survey on my channel saying, what do you guys want more of? Do you want more driving tours, walking tours, supermoto tours, gas scooter tours, or e-scooter tours? And you guys said you wanted more walking tours. So I'm gonna do my best for, we're on Trenton Ave for the month of May. There was already a couple uploads for the month of May that I did before my surgery. So please forgive those driving uploads. But this is actually one of my first walking tours since after the surgery, guys. Yes, yeah, Tuna's back on his feet and I'm trying to recuperate. Look at this beautiful classic, a falcon. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Pretty neat. Wow, another one. Pretty neat. Pretty neat vehicles. Yeah, so anyway, this is actually, remember the cobblestone I was telling y'all? I said Trenton had a um, cobblestone on the ground. I don't like driving on this road, it's so bumpy. But anyway, guys, yeah, this is the borderline. You got old Richmond over there in that neighborhood, and then you got East Kensington over here in this neighborhood. But with that being said, guys, you guys wanted it, you guys got it. I'm gonna try to hit y'all with more walking tours for the month of May. Wherever my legs can take me, I'll be going. I try to mix it up between 360 tours and these 4K tours. Um, periodically, I'll drop in some scooter tours because that scooter is pretty convenient for me. You know, right now I'm sweating. If I was on a scooter, I would have beautiful wind blowing through my luscious, long and luxurious hair. So, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to balance the, the three. And then we'll be hitting, you know, a few other towns and states starting this month too because it's starting to warm up so i don't expect nothing but warm weather from here on out all right guys so i want to say thank you for watching i appreciate everyone's support thank you for the kind words the uplifting words please hit that thumbs up button that's one of the best donations you can ever make sharing is caring share this video with a friend and or family member only you can prevent forest fires. i mean only you can help the channel grow seriously guys as of the time of shooting this video we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers guys i'm going to announce a new giveaway coming soon there's going to be a collaboration with the tomb beat chilling channel and the tomb 215 channel if you haven't checked out the tomb beat chillings latest videos go check it out tune b b e chilling c h i l l i n yeah there's going to be a giveaway coming soon it's gonna be announced on the Tune Be Chillin' channel, but it's partnered up with this channel, Tune 215. So, yeah, show some love. I appreciate everyone. And this is your homeboy, Tune. Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune 215. We could just leave it at Tune Be Chillin'. And y'all already know what it's hitting for. I'm tuning out. <laughs>